Hello. In this video we will look at how to set up Robotil to work for your takeaway shop. We already added categories for our products. We also added products for these categories. This will make up our menu in our takeaway. To see how to add categories and products, have a look at the restaurant quick start guide video. Let's look at why the default settings will not work for a takeaway. When a cashier logs in, the menu is disabled. The cashier must first select a table. The cashier must then also select a waiter. These steps is obviously not needed for a takeaway shop where tables and waiters are not used. In Robotil Manager, open the restaurant configuration. Select, cashier is the waiter, and, use a default table. Open the restaurant table floor plan. Although we will not be using tables that will be served by waiters, we will use the floor plan in a different way for our takeaway. For each till you will be using, add a table with a description for the till point. You can also add multiple tables for telephone orders or delivery orders. Orders can then be allocated to these tables. Note that these items are not real tables but storage points for orders. Let's have a look at how our new settings work in our restaurant module. Remember that if the restaurant module was open, you need to close and open it again so that the new settings can be loaded. When a cashier logs in, he needs to select the default table, or till point, that he will be using. It will only be needed to select the default table, in the beginning of each shift. When the sale has been completed, the next order can be started without the need to select a table or a waiter. It will not be needed to select a table again and the menu selection will stay active. The cashier can however still use the table selection to allocate a telephone order to one of the allocated order storage points. At any time the cashier can then return to normal sales by selecting his till point, or in other words, his default table, again. Robotil is very flexible. By playing around with the available settings, you can set up Robotil to work for you the way you want it to. Thank you for watching this video.